I'm running for United States Congress in the 7th Congressional District of Colorado. Excellent. Now, why don't you tell us something about you're down here today. Why are you down here today? You know, I'm down here because I think it's so important to engage uh, our students mm -hmm. and the younger generations of Americans who have a, I think, a real interest in the outcomes of the elections. And as someone who cares about their vote, I want to come out and talk to people, encourage them to vote, and ask them for their support and help. Excellent. Now, um, you've just been recently endorsed by the Denver Post. I have. Um, why do you think they endorsed you? I mean, well, I think, as they said, that they're looking for new voices, and I don't. I'm not more of the same. Uh, they're looking for voices who are going to fight to get our economy back on track. You know, unemployment amongst those who are 19 to 26 is the highest in the country. So those who are graduating from college right now can't find jobs. Uh, because I'm also a voice on a government that lives within its means, like we have to do, and accountability in Congress to the people we represent. And so they said very clearly that we kind of represent a fresh new voice for Colorado, and uh, I think we have great ideas on how to get our economy going as well. Excellent. And um, why is it important you believe for the students to get out and vote? I mean, you know, midterms tend to have poor turnouts to begin with, especially for 18 to 24. Right. Why would you encourage students to come out really now and come out and try and vote? Because of stuff that's happening in Congress right now. The stuff that if I'm elected, uh, I'll be voting on, it affects our lives. Mm -hmm. And not just our lives, it affects our families and those who are coming behind us. And so if they care about not only our country, but you know, wanting to have more control over their life and the decisions that they can make with their life, these elections are important. So get out and vote, make their voice heard, learn about the issues and learn about the candidates. Because I, I hope that when you do that, you go into the ballot box informed and you make a good decision. Now, um, there's been a lot of, I mean, with all the political ads out there, it's been pretty harsh on both sides. Right. Everyone's throwing punches. Um, what sort of bipartisan spirit do you bring, would you bring to, if you were elected Congress? Well, I bring, I bring a commitment to working towards solutions. And, and I may be a Republican, but first and foremost, I'm an American, and we all share that. And at the end of the day, we got a lot of challenges in this country. And we can't just, you know, argue all the time. we got to find a way to work together. And so I bring a commitment to cooperating, to finding solutions, and helping move America forward in a better direction. Excellent. Um, just what sort of issues do you think you might be able to find, reach across the aisle on, just a specific, anything that comes to mind? Well, job creation mm -hmm. and incentivizing more science and technology in the country. I mean, this, this, this is an area where America has to lead in the, in the realms of science and technology uh, because that's the future where jobs are going to be created. And I think we have an opportunity to come together to incentivize innovation, to invest in education in order to move America in, in that direction. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right, I really appreciate it, John. Thank you, you so much. All hey. the best to you. Thank you.